As recounted by Christine Summerfield in her memoirs, when she came into contact with the Great Houses agent Chris Quay, they were on a war footing due to recently having discovered something terrible about the gods, here referring to godlike beings in whose shadow all the civilizations in the universe had grown up, including both humanity and the houses. Prose. Dead Romance. A deleted entry about the gods of the Ainu was listed elsewhere in the Book of the War as containing enlightening information on the enemy. Prose. The Book of the War. Most active among the gods were the kings of space, a pair of gods who created their own sphinx space on the edges of the established universe and created an army of sphinxes who clashed with the great houses' forces on several occasions, although the kings were believed to be renegades, relative to the orthodoxy of the gods, and were not the ones the houses were primarily worried about. Hearing it said that nobody ever come back alive from sphinx space, Christine wondered if the gods kept sending back dead bodies, with little notes attached, prose, dead romance, closely paralleling the head of the presidency, incident which the Book of the War referred to as the first message from the enemy to the great houses, where the president of the homeworld traveled to a supposed enemy base and returned as a severed head with a note clenched between its jaws. We are not amused. Prose, the Book of the War. As part of negotiations to salvage the bottle universe, Quay made a pact with the Sphinxes, agreeing to give them access to proper time travel, which they desired. Prose. Dead Romance. Christine eventually speculated that Chris Siwedje's universe was a bottle universe, and the gods had originated as the Great House's counterparts in the universe of the level, above, fleeing from yet another enemy. Prose. Dead Romance. Indeed. One account suggested that the universe of I. M. Foreman, in which the better part of the true war in heaven was fought, was indeed a different universe from Siwedje's universe, and that its time lords were fleeing into the bottle universe to escape the war, becoming godlike. Pros. Interference. However, many other accounts depicted the universe Christine entered, and where Quay was active as an agent of the houses, as the same level of reality the war in heaven was fought in. Prose, The Book of the War, Audio, The Eleven Day Empire, etc. Quay believed that these gods might be parts of the universe's framework, and might have been there since the beginning of time. Prose, Dead Romance. According to one account, Quay later discovered that the group of so called All High Gods, who had taken over Della, were instead Ferrata. Prose, Twilight of the Gods.